So, hello world. This is Annie here. It's my third day out from getting my wisdom teeth removed. I got all four of them out. That was fun. Um, I just wanted to recount some of the experience I had. Because when I was looking up experiences from other people, they kind of made it sound horrible. <laughs> um, so on Friday, I went in and it was an early appointment. So it was like 8.15 in the morning and I went in after not eating anything for six hours because they told you not to eat or drink anything for six hours at least and then you go in and you have to have a loose fitting shirt with like shorts and shoes that you have to tie on I don't know why it has to be shoes you have to tie on because you don't actually move anywhere but anyway, they take you into the room, they sit you into a dentist chair, and then for me, they used anesthesia to put me out. And it was so weird because it was the first time I had anesthesia. So it was like a movie anesthesia where they just like, you hear that white noise in, in the background and then you're out. And right before they put me to sleep, they like put the IV in and they put a uh, pulse ox and a blood pressure cuff on me because it was surgery and they had to figure out like my vital signs. Apparently it all went well, I don't know. The anesthesia really made me sad. I don't know why, but I woke up crying. I think it was because I had lost four of my teeth and I'm never going to get them back in my mouth ever again. <laughs> that was what I was thinking about. <laughs> Anyway, you wake up and you're super numb and you can't even feel your tongue or your mouth and you just go into the car for your chauffeur or someone who comes and helps you and you go home and hopefully they set up like a couch for you to lay on because you're supposed to be elevated for a certain amount of time. Anyway, I got set up on my couch. Please pan over there. It's over there. That couch right there. I, I, I slept on it the first night and I recovered the first day through it and you get this gauze stuff and they instruct you to use gauze and fold it into like four little quadrants and then you shove it up into your mouth for the first um, two days and you're supposed to do that until your gums stop bleeding. And then on the second day, you have to take a cup full of warm water and then a tablespoon of salt. And you have to like put it in your mouth and then just rock your head. And you can't like swish like you usually do. You have to rock your head back and forth and then spit it out. And you do that. I'm doing it every hour for the second and third day. But it's supposed to last for three days. So I guess that's second, third, and fourth days. So... I don't think that's fun. Luckily, I didn't get a lot of swelling. That's fun. Um, my friend and I went the night before my surgery to go get these Velcro things. I'll get it. These Velcro thingies, where you take it and you wrap it around and then you like put it on like this. And basically, what I've been doing is I've been getting um, a. Hold on. Let me go. I'm getting these packs, which I made the night before the surgery, where you just put uh, ice into a plastic bag and you shut it, close it shut, and then you take a towel thingy like this, and then you wrap it up, and then you put it on your face, and you use this to hold it down over your head so that it stays on there and usually you're in a reclined position so it should stay on there then you look like a freak like this <laughs> and it should stay on your face it's a cheap effective way of icing your face and keeping it on there on your cheeks um, other than that I've just been taking ibuprofen a lot <laughs> I haven't been using any of the major drugs that the dentist prescribed me because I just haven't had that kind of pain yet. Anyway, that's day two of my, well, day three of my surgery for now. <laughs>